All right, welcome back to Amuse CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to create a uh, a tabbed layout or an accordion layout. So, in the uh, widgets library, we have under panels, we have the accordion and the tab panel. Now, I don't want to show this on this page because I don't know if I want this ultimately to be a tabbed layout, but I did create a new um, page just as an example here called the tab page just so we can play around with these widgets. So if I open up panels here, I'll drag out the accordion first, show you how it works. Basically, you have a few options here. Uh, can close all overlap items below. So if you choose these guys, um, but usually I, I leave them at the default for this uh, for the accordion effect. And the way it works, you basically click on these guys and you can see you basically move up and down the accordion uh, based upon the name convention. Okay, um, so the accordion's okay. Uh, some people really dig it. Um, I prefer the tab panel, which if I drag that out, uh, you'll see here, there's a few options. So there's the event, which happens on click or on roll over. I'm gonna leave it on click. The total width, you can have it um, fit to content or uniform. So if we do fit to content, you'll see the text moves quite a bit or uniform. Um, show left icon if there's a left icon in the text we can have that uh, or if there's a right icon icon uh, and then this has to do with the text basically do we want it center aligned uh, top aligned and so forth uh, you can choose a vertical composition if you have a vertical but I'm going to keep it the horizontal center aligned and basically uh, the way this one works as you click on these tabs you basically get the new content down here at the bottom so you get an image and some text here so let's see how this would work uh, basically what I want to do is copy out uh, the information from this and bring it over to the other one so I'm just gonna uh, copy this uh, just by actually just by selecting it and then hit uh, you know copy control C command C and then go back and then we'll paste it into here so there's zombie one and uh, let's see here we need to shrink it down a little bit uh, then what I'll do is double click in here and I'm just gonna paste these and put you know zombie two since it's that's the only change there and do the same thing here make that one zombie three pretty quick and easy all right so let's now click out and now change the text a little bit there we go if I drag this down a little bit we get the centered again you have to kind of click inside these little text frames to kind of there we go activate the text box and then once you have it then you then you can adjust it so now as I click on zombie 1, zombie 2, zombie 3 you can see the content still changing but we don't have any uh, information that changes so let's change that so we'll go back to here and um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to add this tagline but maybe we'll add um, watch out for the zombies but maybe we'll, we'll change it to watch out for zombie number one or something like that so uh, we'll go back to here and we'll go ahead and paste the content here and we're going to have to change the styling here so actually let me um, double click on all that and what I'm going to do is switch to, where is it here, uh, the character styles, here we go, paragraph styles. We'll just make this, um, let's see, paragraph style, yeah, that should be good. And then um, we'll change it from watch out for the zombies, we'll, we'll change it to watch out for zombie number one. And then... Um, maybe add the tag nine um, it is known to bite you <laughs> it is because it's an it it's not a he or she um, even if it is a male or female zombie it is known to bite you because uh, you know it's the undead <laughs> so let's uh, change that for each one so what I'm going to do is uh, double click on this copy this this tagline here and then um, that's on zombie one and then when I'm on zombie two, here we go. 
I can double click in here and highlight this text and paste again. Um, and again, I'm going to change this to number two. And again, I'm going to highlight everything, make sure it's uh, the paragraph style. It looks like, let's see what's going on here. This one, for some reason, ah, I see. So it's uh, adjusting it to the other paragraph style here. Let's change it to um, black. I don't know why it's defaulting to that white, but there we go. Um, and then we will we'll leave it uh, as a new style. Or actually, we could yeah, we could actually add that for the paragraph. So we can um, redefine selection. There we go. All right, so we got that one for zombie two. Let's do zombie number three now. Again, selecting the tab. Sometimes it's hard to figure out which one you do because there's like three boxes here. So you just gotta make sure it changes and updates here. Um, and then double click inside here. And what I'm gonna do is highlight all this and then again, paste. And um, let's add zombie number three. And then highlight this and change that black there. So now let's check it out. The content is changing. One, two, and three. Now last step is to change out the picture. All right. So let's go over here. Double click. We'll select this one. We'll again copy it. Go back to the tab. Click on this one and actually paste right there. And look at that, I didn't even have to adjust or anything, which is pretty cool. Go to the next one. Um, and again, it's sometimes tricky. There we go. And what I want to do is go back, double click, select the next one, copy, and then go back and make sure it's selected, then paste, and then go back. And we have one more which is this one here, again, copy, and then go back and make sure again, uh, zombie number three is selected and make sure you have the image selected and then paste. And now we've got all three selected here. Now I could have uh, deleted that photo and actually dragged in my own photo uh, to match the exact size, but this works out pretty well. Now, um, what I wanted to share also was that uh, if we look at the box here, the bounding box, there's some issues. I believe it's because of the text here, uh, the text frame, which we can bring up. Uh, and, and that should just, if not, we can grab the end of the content, there we go, and drag up. And that should adjust it. Now, um, right now there is no, uh, or there's a white fill, you can change the coloring. So if I want this to be red, um, you know, you can totally style these tabs however much you want. Um, you just, again, have to be careful on how you select them. So right now, um, as I click on the active, there's an active state here. There's a normal and a rollover and mouse down. So they're all showing up as white, which is fine for this. Um, I may want to change this type, though, in here, maybe to white. Let's see how this would work. And then click out. Yeah, I think that might be kind of cool. Um, and then we'd have to do it with each one. And if I was going to make this into a style updated, I'd want to do that too. So um, I may want to actually add an effect to this type too. I mean, I kind of like it as white, but um, maybe add a drop shadow. Kind of looks nice uh, just to make it pop out a little bit. I may actually want to increase the actual... Um, uh, the font size so maybe bring it up to 24 here uh, or 30 let's see 30 is a little bit too big so I think 24 is fine but maybe uh, we could go bold what else could we do here um, I'm thinking uppercase might be good let's see watch out for some reason too no I think I like it better the way it was and I want it to be all uppercase so let me click out and then just hit un undo there for that last action. There we go. So I think I like it like this. Uh, watch out for zombie number two is known to bite you. 
you can adjust it to you know make the whole line fit in there so if we do that the box does grow a little bit better and I think that works pretty good and I wish there was a way to uh, make sure you had all three of these selected and updated at the same time but unfortunately you have to go through and, and do each one so um, if I go on to this one now it's already stretched out but I still have to go in and isolate the text and update it uh, it would be kind of nice to do that on its own so I have to select it all um, I have to you know make it a little bit bigger so it fits on that whole line and then if I want to apply any effects if I want them consistent throughout I gotta do that with each line there so last one let's double click and then uh, change it to 24 add that white and click out and again I have to kind of maximize it bring it out a little bit and then add that drop shadow I could play around with the settings for drop shadow to make it a little better but this looks pretty good so let's go ahead and preview it check it out so now I've got zombie one watch out for zombie number one it is known to bite you zombie number two watch out for zombie number two it is known to bite you and zombie number three watch out for zombie number three it is known to bite you so this is basically creating a tab panel so you can have all your content consolidated in one area and again you can style these areas these tabs um, I showed you that once you select them again sometimes you just gotta dig through a little bit but you have all these four states to work with you actually have a transition option here so we can add a fade here let's actually adjust that real quick uh, I think the fade might be a nice uh, addition now let's go ahead and preview this again and let's see so we got a little bit of transition there yeah that looks pretty good so uh, this is working with tab panels accordion panels until next time see you soon in the WMUSE CC cheers